course some beautiful people welcome back to jikoni yangu my name is sebi for those who are new here in today's video we're going to make some wet fry fish so stay tuned till the end you're going to add your sufuria to your heat and then you're going to add in your chopped onions and you're going to mix it with the oil for for a bit the next thing you're going to do you're going to add in your one teaspoon of salt inside that mixture at this time because we are building up flavors at this point you're also going to add in one tablespoon of your fish masala this really makes the fish to taste really really yummy so make sure you add it at this point not at any other point at this point when you're adding your onions you mix them all together until the onions are nice and golden brown as you can see that is what we need for this fish to be very very delicious the next thing we're going to do you're going to add in your tomato puree remember to check the description box so that you can get all the ingredients and the measurements that i've used for this recipe so make sure you check it out so you're going to mix that all together and the next thing you're going to do you're going to add in your one teaspoon of your royco powder to thicken our stew and to also um seal up all the flavors once the tomato has cooked for a while you're going to add in your full fish and you're going to ensure that you set it in a way it can be able to uh, receive all the goodness of the tomatoes and you're going to just like do whatever i'm doing you're going to try and cover the fish with the tomatoes and at this point i'm cooking my fish on low heat and then we are going to cover it so that it can be able to steam for a bit as it cooks yeah so that we can be able to soften our fish and for the deep frying of the fish make sure it's just slightly deep fried so that it's not too hard for this recipe so we are back after some time after two minutes um of our fish cooking and this is what we have that's how you just cook your fish and you're going to add in some coriander to garnish and to also give it that extra touch that nice flavor so this is just what we have for this video this round make sure you've subscribed to this channel if you love what you're seeing make sure you comment down below make sure you give this video a thumbs up because it really really supports this channel to my returning subscribers thank you so much for always showing support to your girl and to the new subscribers welcome here to Jikoni Yangu, we do simple and amazing recipes at the comfort of your home. I hope you've loved the video. Till next time, bye.